Hi everyone, this is Microsoft Access, this is Python. They both have data sets, they can both scroll through records, and they both have very similar functions. So why would I want to convert this into this? Well, you can convert a Microsoft Access database into an .exe file for users that don't have Microsoft Access, at least very easily. But what you can do with Python is put that into an .exe file. So even if people don't have Microsoft Access or Python, they can still just run it. Maybe you just want to do something like run it in Linux, like this. It just depends on what your needs are, really. If your database isn't that complicated, and like in the cases I'm about to show you, there's no reason why you can't convert it. And ChatGPT makes that so much easier. In my case, I just need the ability to scroll through a data set, go back and forth, and perform a simple function. I don't need to be fancy. I don't need it to look exactly the same. I just need the basic functionality between the two to be the same. So what I have here is a really simple form that grabs the consonants out of two fields. So you can kind of see here how this works grabbing the these letters right here and right here, not doing the vowels, just the consonants. And I have my code right here. I'm not gonna go over this too much. Basically, I'm kind of setting everything up here. And this is my pattern right here. Those are the vowels, making sure that I don't get those. And then here's the rest right here. All right. And I have a data set here, and this is basically what's already in my Microsoft Access database. And so I'm going to import this into Python and basically uh, emulate the form I have in Microsoft Access. So I put everything here in a text file. I have all my code here. It's exactly the same. I'm giving it the statement though right up here. All right, let's see if we can get chat GPT to do it. So I'm going to copy this. I'm going to put it into the chat here. I'm going to right click, paste, and then hit enter. And let's see what happens. So we're going to use a GUI library, Ekinter. That's the one that's kind of default with Python, comes with it. I don't see it importing regular expressions or RE, um, but that's okay. We'll see what it does. Maybe it won't use it. And it's going to import this employees file that I have in Excel. So there's that grab function right there. There's the previous and next, like you'd see in a Microsoft Access form. Those are the first name and last name fields. It's making the layout. Based on what I know about Tkinter, this looks good so far. All right, it's importing that employee's data set into a data frame. Still looks good. See exactly what that says, first thing, last name, okay. So far it's looking good, it's got that pattern in there, the regular expressions pattern. So it's creating some definitions here. I suspect that it's getting close to done here, so let's see here, yep. It's almost there. All right, let's see if it works. Okay, I have a blank Python file right here. I'm gonna paste in my code. I'm gonna hit run. Let's see what happens. Okay. All right, I'm gonna hit grab. Oh, we got an error, RE not defined. Yep, see, I was worried about that. So if we go like this, real simple, import RE, this should work. And RE, your regular expressions, should come with Python, uh, as does this. You will have to import pandas, and to do that, you just go like this. Go to the command prompt, and you just type in pip install pandas, but I already have it installed, so I'm not going to worry about that. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and try to rerun this and see if it works now. I'm going to get rid of this here. Let's go. Let's see.
Okay, let's see. Oh, it worked. There we go. Cool. Let's go to the next record. Yep. Okay, it didn't import the regular expressions or the RE module in Python, but that was the only little thing. So I think overall it worked pretty good. All right, let's switch things up a little bit. I have some code here in Python that I'm going to run. It's basically a form with a button and you click it and it'll generate a message. Let's see if it can convert this to Microsoft Access VBA. So I have some code right here, which is what you just saw, and my request right here. I'm going to paste all this into the chat and let's see what ChatGPT does. So I'm telling it that my access button is called check. So while this is going, I could just create that. I'm going to type in check for the label. We're also going to name this button itself. Check. All right. Let's see how far ChatGPT has come. All right, it's still generating the code here, but this isn't gonna be very long code because it's a pretty simple function. So let's see. Just gonna scroll over to get a look at that. It looks sort of strange, but it might work. The indent's just not really necessary. Okay, I'm gonna copy the code here. And I'm just gonna go right here. I'm gonna paste it in. And let's give it a try. Oh, there we go. It worked. We successfully went from Microsoft Access VBA to Python and from Python to Microsoft Access VBA. Really pretty cool that you can do that. Anyway, hope you found this interesting. Please like and subscribe. Check out my other videos if you could and have a good one.